Now this right here is a nice car, 1969 Olds Cutlass, beautiful paint and body, nice interior. Um, and from what I hear, it drives pretty damn good too. It does. It's got a full photo uh, documentation of all the restoration. It was really took down to bare metal and they did a nice job. Nice. I'm excited to drive it. Hey, it's got some rip snort too. It does, man. It's just, what a good transmission. Tranny shift's great. Look at the brakes. Absolutely perfect. No pull left or right. Steering wheel straight. Um, we got tilt wheel on this one. The paint on the dash, the wood grain's great. It's got to go through some of the things on it. Got radio here. Uh, oil pressure, amp gauge, and temp gauge are all down here. Looks like those are all functioning. Carries good oil pressure. 45 pounds here at an idle. Uh, radio sounds great. Sounds really good, man. All the cars we've been driving lately like really sounds good. The idle's really nice too. Horn works. Wipers Wipe. work. Yep. This one's got speed alert which you don't see that very often. So if you're speeding, it'll buzz at you. That's kind of neat. Yeah, gas gauge works on it. Um, really nice car. Factory air car in the air. Does Look at that. Cold. That guy's got the dog in the back of the truck with no tailgate. That kind of scares the shit out of me. <laughs> Is that Jack? I think so. I'd never have Murphy back there. <laughs> it's got 83,063 miles. Super solid car underneath. Just a great looking car. I love the color combination with this white with this light yellow. Yeah, and the black stripes kind of really set it off. I like it. And show quality paint, bumper to bumper. See what she's got, show me. Yeah, sounds good. Gets right up and goes. Nice shift. Throws you back. Look at this. Nice. Another quality car, man. I mean, I'm not kidding you. We haven't even drove it a mile yet, and I'm already sold on it. I know, it sounds so nice. It's got a great dual exhaust. Um, brakes are perfect, tilt wheel, speed alert, remote mirror, air conditioning, steering, brakes. It's got air too. Oh yeah, nice. it works. We're gonna go ahead and uh, turn this baby around. Let's do it, huh? Gets her up to speed. This is definitely a built tranny. I mean, it doesn't skip a beat when it shifts. No, it shifts nice. Look at that. A 75 mile an hour, 80. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. This is a nice one. Very um, nice. Yeah, it's it's a great car. Our speed alert was buzzing there. <laughs> what, did you hear it? Yeah. Speed alert, <laughs> speed alert. <laughs> Thank God it ain't too loud. Yeah. I'd be annoying if it was too loud. I think you can change the it exhaust. Too. Overpowered it. Yeah, you just just turn that little dial. Yeah, off. you turn the dial. So we want to go. We want to set that at 100. I'd uh, say 110. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sold on it. We haven't even checked out the outside yet, so we're gonna pull it up and uh, go around it. But pretty excited about this one. Yeah, I like the looks of this car as much as I like the way it drives. That dual exhaust sounds fantastic. This is an absolute show car. Um, as I mentioned before, we got a photo documentation. It, it's, man, I don't even see a flaw in it. The only thing I see is a box elder bug that looks like a chip on the top of the fender. I love the wheels too. I like that style of uh, torque thrust that we'll get yep. him off of there. What size, are, what size are these? I don't know. Really nice under the hood as well. 350, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning. Now look at the paint quality under the hood, nice flat black paint. You can tell they took everything apart when they did it. Um, new Napa Legend battery, air conditioning, you've already got that. Um, nice big fan shroud keeping this cool. Just everything, the paint on, you know, everything just looks kind of new. They spent a lot of money on it. Yeah. Very nice. Tell you what, this was someone's pride and joy, wasn't it? And it's kind of a like a lighter, like more pastel yellow, but in the video it's kind of coming through as a little brighter, but um, yeah. Good thing to point out, I love the, uh, even the W31 little Emily. stickers up front with the black stripes and the black vinyl top, the stagger of the wheels, the stance. This this Cutlass has it all. Yeah, it's, it's a cocky looking car.
Hood lines up really nice as well. Front bumper and grill looks good. Big long hood and, and it matches up perfectly in the back with that nice chrome trim there as well. And this is a small detail, but it kind of points to the restoration. Most time you see these, it does not have the little rubber stoppers still on the bumper. A lot of times those are gone. Yeah, good point. Great point. Bumper lines up good, not crooked. Now these wheels are a little different, aren't they? They're more of a, they're a bright chrome, but they're more of a gray. Yeah, they're a like darker, that. Um, like I a like, black chrome or something. Yeah, I like it. We need to find out. We need to get those. Yeah. I like those better than. We definitely need to switch choices. that out. Um, as far as the windshield goes, windshield looks great. Black vinyl top looks almost brand new, doesn't it? Yep. In behind here, always ask on these vinyl tops if there's any bubbles or softness. This is perfect. Um, back glass looks good. Couple minor, original, minor scratches in that. Um, top of the back seat, back shelf looks awesome. All the body lines on this car are very nice. Trunk lines up fantastic. Ah, beautiful like the... back bumper, tail light lenses, chrome all looks good. Dual exhaust comes out nice. Um, I think this one has a 12 bolt in it too, if I remember right. Nice. You have to talk to your salesman on that, but I'm pretty sure it did. Black paint along the bottom looks gorgeous. I mean, you can tell it's just done right. All the trim, all the stainless is nice. Gap's good top to bottom. All the black, it's not a flat black, it's not a buzz bomb black, it's all base black, just like the rest of it. They carried that in right on the door jam. Nice paint in the jams. Does have a little scratch inside the door jam on the black. Um, door panels look original, don't they? They have just a little wear on them. Um, as far as a little discoloration on the top where you put your arm, but original door panels, they chose to leave them original. Uh, corners of the doors are awesome. Original bench seat could have been redone. It's hard to say. Um, dash pad is perfect from what I can see here. Um, the Cutlass Supreme wood grain looks nice. Digital radio. It's got the little Pioneer uh, kick panels up there. Could be the original seat covers yet, D. That carpet there. Kinda looks like it. Um, seats are excellent, front and back, dome lights work, headliner's nice. Does have the overhead uh, seat belts. Back door panels are original as well. Still very nice. You can see just a couple little scuffs. A couple little scuffs in them, but. For original, I wouldn't yeah, change them. Yeah, they're awesome. No, they're really nice for original. Door's Car's laser really nice. straight too, isn't it? It's a good one. Again, I'm just gonna reiterate, in the video, the car looks a little more brighter yellow than it is. It's really kind of a, a really nice pastel yellow. Yeah. So. And I'm not normally a huge yellow guy, but this color yellow, I really like. Yeah, so I'm not a big bright yellow guy, like a big flashy yellow. No, and this is not that. No, so if it looks like that in the video, then that's the camera's fault. Exactly, it's, a, it's gorgeous. Um, disc on the front. We got some uh, 18s on the back, maybe? 17s on the front, uh, 18s on the back. Got a couple tiny little chips on the edge of the door right here. Very, very minor. Corner of the door is 100% rust free. Bottom of the door is good. Again, in that jam, the paint's really, I'll try to get my shadow out of the way. Paint's really nice in that jam as well. One more thing on the, yeah. the paint, because you can't feel it when you're watching on the video, but the whole thing is just smooth like glass. You know, there's no, I don't even oh, know if wow. we buff this one either, but it's really nice. It just kind of talks it's the paint quality. Very, very nice. Um, when they did the paint job, they did new door rubbers. They did the high quality felts in it. Remote mirror, again, door panel appears to be original and it's nice. Steering wheel, tilt, steering wheel's in great shape, it's a correct wheel. Just a great car, guys. If you're looking for a, a show quality GM car under 40,000 bucks that you can take to any show that sounds good, it's got cold air, this is it. 
I mean, if this was a 69 Chevelle, you're talking at least 50 in this condition. Yep. So check it out on our site, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, we can help with financing, shipping. Um, if you're in the market for a nice classic, look no further than this 1969 Cutlass.